this tummy is the perfect place to hide in. Who's gonna know? No one can find me. What is this? Eh? I don't feel anything. Guess I'm safe. Ha ha ha, no one can find me here. MJ, you have a tumor here. What? Hi, I'm Joshita, a radiographer at KK Women's and Children's Hospital. My job is to capture high-quality images of your body using techniques like X-rays, ultrasound and MRIs, helping doctors and healthcare teams make accurate diagnosis. When we think of radiographers, we often imagine them simply taking X-rays all day long, but their role is so much more expensive than that. Today, I'm here at KKH to learn about the important work that radiographers do and how they contribute to patient care beyond just capturing images. What you're experiencing now is a ultrasound, which is a non-invasive form of imaging that is used to see a variety of conditions. Ultrasound is similar to sonar, like the ones used by ships or even bats to navigate. In ultrasound, the transducer sends out a beam of sound waves into the body, which are then reflected to the transducer by boundaries between the tissues in the path of the beam. These signals picked up by the ultrasound machine are then converted to what is seen on the screen. Okay, now we're going to do a fun exercise. I'm going to scan you and then we'll see if you can uh, identify the various organs. Okay? Oh, okay. I'm a science student, I guess. This is an organ here. Can you guess what this is? This one. Bronchus. The air sacs of my lungs. Maybe you try to think of like anatomy. Not, not the lungs. <laughs> Okay, maybe I'll give you like a clue. It's like something that uh, excretes out your... Oh my goodness, my kidney? Yes. <laughs> your kidneys all the way up? Yeah, usually your kidneys are higher up. Your right side is higher. Wait, this is a bit too high. The, okay, the textbook got a change. Can you guess what this is? Uh... This one. You can think of like the female reproductive system. Ooh. You have your uterus, then... The two things are ah, ovary! Mm, correct. Do you know what's the small, small circles inside? You can see my eggs now? Yeah, yeah, for the What do I have? Wow, I've always thought that ultrasound is only for pregnancy, but I'm amazed by how much more this can do. Yeah, I get that a lot. Uh, so usually ultrasound is actually used for a lot more uh, scanning different organs and muscles and even blood flow. It's super helpful in diagnosing uh, various conditions like tumours or kidney stones as well. Oh, do I have kidney stones? Do you? So this is where we do x-rays. Oh, wait. Does it mean that this place is filled with radiation? Do we need a shield? Yeah, that's actually quite a common misconception. Even though x-rays do involve the use of radiation, the amount is actually quite negligible. We take a lot of precautions and measures to ensure that every imaging procedure is done in a safe manner. Think of it like taking a picture when you want to focus on a particular object, the field of view is smaller. Moreover, as KKH is a children's hospital, all of our imaging protocols are tailored according to their needs and we take extra precaution in ensuring that all procedures are done in a safe manner. But why are you guys always hiding behind big shoes or not in the room altogether? Yeah, I knew you asked that. So for us, it is important to take precautionary measures uh, because we are more likely to be exposed to radiation as compared to the public, especially when we are doing operating data cases or portable x-ray cases in the wards. So by staying behind the shield or being in another room, we keep ourselves protected but uh, still be able to do our jobs effectively. Yeah. Thank you for sharing with us about how your job is like, Jashita. I'm actually really curious, what got you interested in radiography? So like when I was in poly, I was uh, studying biomedical sciences, which is purely a lab-based uh, job. So it can actually be quite mundane and there's very little human in interaction. When I was trying to apply for uni, I was trying to find out more about what allied health really is about. So one of my lecturers was actually a radiographer. I think the common misconception is that we are like radio DJ or something. Most people don't really know that we are actually involved in the healthcare industry and we are part of the imaging team. When I was talking to him and learning more about what radiography is, I realised that uh, it's actually kind of like my two interests coming together, science and photography. Mm -hmm. So being able to like make a difference in patients' life is also something that got me interested in. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is one thing you like to share about being a medical ally? As a radiographer, being a medical ally is ensuring that my patients are comfortable and safe while their images are being taken. 
So it's about explaining procedures thoroughly and ensuring that uh, they are not too worried because most patients come in quite anxious and they are wondering what is their diagnosis about mm. and what is the outcome of the whole imaging procedure. Uh, at the same time, being able to work with the healthcare team like our radiologists and the doctors and nurses in the ward. At the end of the day, uh, the goal is to actually ensure that the patient receives the best care and service so that we can provide them uh, with good treatment. Thank you so much for spending time with us and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye. Learning more about our radiographer has made me appreciate how important medical imaging is in diagnosing and treating illnesses. If you are interested in learning more about radiographers and other medical allies, there are healthcare scholarships available to assist you in this learning journey. Check out our link in bio to find out more. Just keep thinking!